Hello, it's time for another 5-minute filament review. This time we are reviewing Firefly PLA by Hello3D. Uh, this came in a MakerBox sample. I like my MakerBox uh, samples because they give me lots of interesting things. And it says here, uh, abrasive, hardened nozzle advised. Nozzle of 0.5 millimeter or more advised. So the first thing I did was I tried to uh, print this with my 0.4 millimeter nozzle X, which is a hardened nozzle, um, and it immediately clogged. So yeah, it is no joke on the uh, 0.5 millimeter. Don't try to print it with a 0.4 millimeter, you'll just clog. Uh, fortunately, the Maker Box for January did have a special group buy on uh, 0.6 millimeter E3D nozzle X's. And I took advantage of that, ordered myself a 0 0.6, uh, so it came in the maker box. I was able to swap that right into the printer, and I was able to print these filament samples uh, using that nozzle. So at 0 0.6 millimeter, no problem, no clogs, no issue whatsoever. And these are the four models that I printed. And here is yet another filament sample keycard edition. Now, as you can see, you can see my finger through this. This is a fairly transparent filament. Um, at least when you print it just a layer or two thick, the thicker it gets, uh, the cloudier it gets. So, I mean, you might see my finger under this thicker part, but probably not real well. Um, it printed fine. No issues with print quality using the uh, 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle. It's my first experience using a nozzle that was not 0 0.4. Filament sample printed fine, clean, overhangs fine. Um, holes are fine. Everything is good about this. Uh, we printed his layers a lot. I don't know how much uh, detail you can see on him just because uh, uh, clear probably isn't picked up that well by the camera. There is a bit of stringiness, more stringiness than usually with my uh, PLA that I print, though I would still characterize this stringiness as uh, fairly minor. Uh, shield details seem fine. Head details are fine. Adhesion was good to the build plate. Um, overhang and stuff on the sword is fine. I'd say he's a, a good, successful Sir Layers a lot. And then I printed this Marlin. This Marlin is done by the same guy who designed uh, the Dinosaurus collection, so you may have seen these in my other videos. I like to print uh, his dinosaurs because they're easy prints. Uh, the Marlin turned out great. I think I printed him with uh, four shells around the outside. Uh, four, four perimeters, um, standard settings on the top and bottom. You can you see you can see the infill right through there. Um, it is, like I said, it's pretty transparent filament. Um, you can't really see the infills through the sides because I did have those four perimeters. Uh, Marlin turned out fine. No, no artifacts. Um, no issues. And finally, I printed a calibration cube. Uh, now I ran out of filament on the calibration cube, so we're missing like one or two layers here at the very top. We just ran out. Uh, the X looks good. The Y looks good. No obvious problems. Um, as with before, it's transparent enough. You can see right up through the bottom. Um, the cube is good. So this is a PLA. So on a Prusa i3 Mark III, it prints just fine. Just like almost every PLA does on this printer. Now I did decide to compare this filament to a couple other filaments, so I started with my 3D Salutec Glow. I bought that last year as my first uh, ever Glow filament. Bought a whole roll of it. I've also got KVP Glow Green. Uh, this came in a MakerBox sample last year. And then we've got the Hello um, Firefly. And we will go right now into the closet where it is very dark and we will compare these. Now I started out by shining my black light on these samples so the black light will kind of supercharge them up. And then I shut off the black light and I took like an immediate picture. So here you see the first immediate picture. Um, you can tell that the um, 3D Salutec and the KVP are, are significantly brighter than the Firefly. You can see what they claimed in the Firefly was you'd get this kind of speckled pattern because um, it had these kind of large specks of uh, glow in it, so you can see the speckling in there. Now let's go to the next image, which is 30 seconds after um, I turned off the black light. Now you can see that the everything is starting to dim a little bit, 
but the Hello 3D uh, Firefly is, is dimming a lot. It's getting to the point where you can barely see it. Now let's go five minutes after I turned off the black light. Now the camera is not picking up the Hello 3D at all. It's, it's just gone. Um, at this point, I could still see it with my eyes a bit, uh, but the exposure on the camera is not set to be able to pick it up at all. We could still see the other two filaments. Yes, they're dimmer, but you can still see them. These pictures, the first several pictures I took were all with the shutter on the camera set to one-tenth. On this next picture, I'm going to go 20 minutes later. So here we are at 20 minutes after turning off the glow light and a three second exposure. So I turn the exposure way up to be able to have the camera capture these. So you can see again, there's still some residual glow in this 3D Salutec and the KVP. The Hello 3D Firefly is just, just blown away, it's gone. Now in conclusion, uh, this is a glow filament, so the most important thing about it is that it's got a glow. And it, unfortunately, I felt it didn't do that very well. So you charge it up maximally with a black light and within a minute or so, it, it's faded to the point where you just don't care. I mean, even if you're standing in a dark closet with the doors closed, five minutes later, it's just completely gone. Whereas the other filaments are still glowing a little. So, unfortunately, as much as I would like to recommend this filament, I just can't. It, um, I would go with the 3D Salutec or with the um, KVP. Either one of those seem to be pretty decent glow filaments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this sort of thing interests you, then please subscribe and I will make more of them. Thank you.